Major Morgan had little cards that you slotted into one end, and these helped you to destroy dependable centuries-old tunes. So when you're quite young, it's a really easy way to play a tune, and I absolutely loved it. It was so exciting. I played with it every day. In fact, my brother used to steal it from me and hold it out of my reach. I think because it was really annoying when I used to play three by mice all the time. I hated it because back then I was learning music and I knew this wasn't a proper musical instrument. It has no soul, it has no capacity for expression and it has no accidental, so you can't play proper tunes on it. It failed as a toy, it failed as a musical instrument and it was fit for no purpose whatsoever. Except perhaps target practice. But before we consign the cheap, nasty, tone-deaf plastic major to the great charity box of toy history, I'm going to give him one chance to redeem himself with a special one-off performance. And to help me, I'm going to have the backing of an enthusiastic school orchestra. It's out of tune. Is it a musical instrument? Oh, no, absolutely not. It? It's just a toy. It looks like a toy to me. What about tonally? It's not a particularly beautiful noise, is it? It's not very expressive. No. One sound. Have we agreed it's rubbish? I think so. The hour of the performance approaches and what could be the Major's last stand. This is the first time I've performed with any sort of orchestra for over 20 years and I'm playing a very unfamiliar instrument, so I'm actually rather nervous about it, especially as these people have practised very hard and their orchestra is actually rather good. Right, Major, this is your last chance to prove yourself, so stand up straight, be tonally accurate, don't let these people down. For 30 years, he was a plastic novelty discarded at the back of a cupboard. And now it transpires, he's an orchestral soloist. I'm absolutely staggered. <laughs> <laughs>